Good morning, Roscoe. Good morning. Are you waiting for your morning pet? You just sit up here and wait for your petting. You're up early. I, well, I'm scooping the litter box right now. The giant watermelon box size litter box. Let's see because how big they're getting. Oh my gosh, look how big they're getting. Poop a lot. Every day, I feel like they've gotten bigger. They have. Chook, chook. Yeah, they're getting huge. And let me tell you, their favorite thing, watermelon and scrambled eggs, which I'm working on right now. How do they even find their food? They just kick all of their shavings into the food. Well, that's why you have a mommy. Every morning she comes and cleans it all out. And there it is again. Food, glorious food. Want to vlog today? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do roasting videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm like hysterical laughing because we are surrounded by animals. Look at this one's down here. And then Roscoe. Roscoe is right there. Just sitting there. Yep. And of course, look at this. This one's back. Oh, hello. And we were trying to do the intro, and Roscoe was like, I'm going to eat now. But he's, and he wants to crunch his food so loudly. <laughs> you say hello? Say hello. Say hello. I don't want a bath yet. I know. Although I need to go take a shower, I don't need one yet. Oh, and I dropped my watch. Fell off. Oh. We have to fix that. We need a new band. It's the, a good morning. The pin is broken is what it is. It is. So, so good morning. We're going to vlog today. We're, why are you wearing a jacket? It's like 100 degrees outside. It is overcast. Okay. And I am walking into the office and they keep it mighty cold yeah. in there. Well, I mean, I know it's overcast, but it's summer in South Florida. It rains every day. If I have a rain jacket, I won't need it. <laughs> That's the rule. Has anybody else ever experienced that? Like, yeah. So if you, don't you have bring an umbrella, an umbrella yep. it will never rain. But when you don't bring an umbrella, it's sure to pour. Every time. Yeah. So you're going to the office. I'm going to go to the office. We're going to take some devotions. We're going to have a staff meeting. Then I am meeting with um, some arts and crafts people as we start to move toward the thought of going back into our church building. Uh -huh. And then we get to talk to somebody today. Yeah. So we have a Patreon call. So some people want to support us with Patreon, not obligated at all. Don't no. ever feel obligated, but some people want to support us through our Patreon. And uh, one of the tiers does like 25 or 30 minute phone calls or video calls with us. So we they'll, have one of those today. They'll be sick of See, yes, we've never talked about 25 minutes about anything. I think we talk about everything for at least 25 minutes. I think we've Hence why all of our videos are 25 minutes. This one will probably be 25 minutes. Probably. So, and then we're going to get Buffalo Wild Wings today. This is going to be a good day. Yep. Let's get it started. Let's go. Well, good morning. It is 6 a.m. down here in South Florida. And I got up a little early because I wanted to fly my drone and see if I can catch the sunrise.
What are you doing? Yeah, just watching a little Joyce Meyer this morning. Everything that I can. Hold on. I got to pause this. To be thankful to God and to say so. And not only God, but to others. What? This is what I come out to? We're practicing um, being on a roost because ultimately we're going to have to put them on a roost every night. And I just want them to get used to it because they're a little bit nervous about it. But yeah, they've decided to just mostly roost on mom. Everybody isn't all in for the roosting. Some people don't like heights yet, especially like, um, um, ooh, Hannah. Hannah does not like roosting. So Shiloh's gonna show you how it's done. She's getting the roosting thing down. And they're always looking like, where's someplace else we could be? They're all standing straight up because of Tabitha. Yeah, they can they can really sense what would be their predators, right? That that makes you so like sad for chickens that get caught by like foxes and stuff because they hear it coming. They know it's coming. Speaking of which, Roscoe brought home several presents last night. Oh no. So this is my current computer setup. I'm actually waiting for one more screen. This is my main screen that I've always had. This is actually my PlayStation screen, but right now I have it hooked up so I have a second screen. There should be a screen over here. This is my old computer, and this is my new computer. So this is the Mac Pro. So here's the thing. The Mac Pro only came with one terabyte of hard drive space, and I need a lot more. So even this computer had two terabytes of SSD space, so... What I always had was this box, if you can see it way back here, and that box actually has four hard drives in it, making it a total of eight uh, terabytes. But I wanna get rid of that box, so I got this in the mail today, which is going to allow me to install more hard drive into this computer. So Rachel wouldn't be very happy if she caught me taking this computer apart. So we're gonna do it while she's not home. It has been seven years since they made a computer that can be worked on by the end user. And all I have to do is take this little knob, twist it, and lift. And you can see inside. So we have here is the fan for the hard drive that's built in, which is behind here. And then behind here is the RAM. So I can actually flip this little switch and then take out the RAM. See, there's six RAM slots there, six more behind here. Those three fans will cool the entire system and they are like pretty much silent. You don't hear them. And then here's the inside of the computer, all these open slots. That's my graphics card, my regular card. Chris right now is building me a thing to put right here to put hard drives. He's making a 3D model. And now we're going to add this stuff. So these are two terabytes or four terabytes total, two terabytes each of M2 SSDs. And we're going to install them on this card. This card will actually allow me to have four of those. Okay, here we go. First thing we have to do is take off this big heat sink. And there's a screw right here. It's cool, they give you everything you need here. They give you even like the little Torx screwdrivers. And then there's four more right here. We got that. There we go. I'm gonna put two of these in right now. So we're gonna take off two of these screws. This allows me to put two more in later. This one in. This one in. Okay. Hard drive's in. Now we just need to put the heat sink back on. We're gonna unlock all of the slots. And we're going to line the card up, push it in, lock the cards back in, put the case back on. Go plug it in. Whoa, look at that speed. Full it worked and Rachel didn't even catch me. 
So I have to go get Buffalo Wild Wings and I tried to order and uh, it said no online ordering at the store and what? they're not answering the phone. What? So no lunch today. No dinner today either. We have no food ready. Oh, no, no, no. We need to find another plan. I found another Buffalo Wild Wings, but I have to drive like an extra 15 minutes. So I'm I going am, to get it now. I am willing to budget that time for you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So I just dropped the shipping off at FedEx and I still have a couple of minutes before I have to get home because it's going to take Joe a while to get our wings and get back to our house because he had to go to a much further away Buffalo Wild Wings, which is fine. I'm willing for him to, to go farther in order for me to get wings today, okay? Um, but since I have some extra time, I'm going to run into Walmart because I'm looking to see if they have a hard plastic top loader type thing for sheets. Not just a sheet protector that's super thin, but like the larger top loaders like you would use for a baseball card because there's certain elements to our kids curriculum that a bunch of people touch and I would just like to be able to encase that with something that you could wipe down. There are so many things to think of coming out of this season. I know that we've purchased 25 more standing hand sanitizers. We're going to flip where kids and families drop their kids off so that we can, you know, minimize cross contamination when we go back to, you know, church in a building. So it's just weird to think about all of the different things that we have to think about now. Probably we should have thought more about germs, but now we're definitely thinking more about germs and how we can prevent them. So I'm going to go into Walmart and see what they got. No, Joe, you may not have these tank tops. No. And stop making them, Walmart. Just stop it. So here is always my conundrum. I need something between Daisy Dukes and Grandma Pants. Like, there has to be a short length that both does not show my butt cheeks, but doesn't need to be ankle length. I am always searching for the perfect shorts. Please help me. Where is there the perfect short length? Oh my gracious, on my way home, there is a baby Ibis trying to cross the street in the middle of traffic. I am so glad that the person behind me was practicing social distancing because I was not about to hit that bird. I was swerving, I didn't care what. Like, do not hit that baby bird. Me and baby birds, no. Do not hit that baby bird. On a sad note, I did not find what I was looking for. However, I didn't expect to really because I've been to like five other stores and they didn't have it either. I'm a patient woman. I will find what I'm looking for. I am married to Joe and I work in kids ministry. So patience is my thing. We will find it. I'm, I'm not going to be upset. On a good note, I have an amazing consolation prize waiting for me at home and that is wings. So I'm about to get my chicken wings on. Tabitha, you guarding mommy. Sit. Sit. What are you doing? It's 100 degrees outside and you have a heating blanket. It is brutal outside. My heating blanket is not on, but I am pretty much done adulting for today. I changed my you shirt. look like it. And just collapsed in this chair that we have put on offer up but cannot sell. Nobody and wants our chair. Nobody wants this chair, but I'm telling you, this is the most comfortable chair. Like, we probably need to keep it. We're getting rid of it. It's too big, and it takes up too much room. Look at this. I can't show that. It's amazing. <laughs> so, now that you're home, yes. and it's done and put back together, I can tell you, I took apart my entire computer system. What? Yeah. On camera, too. I added in, like, two hard drives that makes it go like 10 times faster than the old hard drive. I just hear Charlie Brown's teacher, wah, 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 but I'm just glad that I didn't come home to a bunch of little spare parts all over the floor because I would have flipped out. Here you go. I think we should film you actually eating wings. Nobody wants to see that. It is scary. So we got half medium, half salt and vinegar. They didn't put a lot of sauce on it, so we yeah. just added some regular Frank's, uh, what Red is Hot? Frank's Red Hot sauce onto it. I put it on everything. 
So it's about seven o'clock, we had our wings. Now we're gonna have some keto chow ice cream. Chocolate peanut butter ice cream with cereal school on top. Aw, thank you. I have like shipping to do and I'm totally just avoiding it right now and I will do it in a bit. We'll eat our ice cream, then we'll wrap up this vlog. So Anthony just came to me and said, I need to come see what he did to his car. I don't know if I wanna see this. Let's go take a look. What did you do? It's kind of awesome. What did you do? Oh, you're gonna have to start that again. I had a song on. Huh? I had a song on, you have to reset it. Just do it. You're gonna get copyrighted. No, we're fine. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I have an unhealthy obsession with lights. <laughs> I also have them in the back seat. This is really cool. And it goes to the song. Okay, can you turn off the music so I don't get copyrighted? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. That's kind of distracting when you drive, though. Oh, I wouldn't have it on then. I'd have it just on the collar. Yeah, so I have something like this in my car. Yeah. But mine's not on an app. But I... Mine is all, like, LEDs. I can have it as candlelight. It's kind of bright. I can turn the brightness down. There you go. That's really cool. You remind me a lot of, of me. And then I also, I made the colors of that of this scene like a bowl of ramen that i took a picture of look at this so it drew the colors from this oh yeah i remember that and it picked it the colors there you go oh, can't really see it because of the brightness that's pretty cool and then i can apply it. this is the kind of stuff i did when i was a kid to my car it's not on the outside though so it's not illegal <laughs> you called <laughs> i have some shipping buddies Hey guys, they're, every time I come out here, they're bigger. I think they've grown every single time you come. But these guys don't mind my tape sounds and the sound of paper crinkling. So. Look at the, the, the little fur. Feetsies. So they're just sort of my shipping buddies. They're getting to be like the size for making chicken wings. Watch your own mouth. <laughs> They're just like super chill, I love it. How much watermelon are you gonna give these things? They've had, that's that's their slice number three and four of just like wedges, like triangles. They like it. <laughs> oh. It is 11.30, I think it's time to finish up this vlog. Well, we're just having a little bedtime song. You realize that chickens are supposed to be sleeping at 11.30 at night, right? They're they supposed are. to go home to roost. They're practicing their high wire act. Girls, why are you up at 11.30 at night? This is what happens. Mommy's spoiling you. You need to learn to go to bed at sundown because I need eggs. If I don't get eggs, you're going to become dinner. We were having... Look, they're all coming to see me because they know. Yeah. They're going to become dinner. No. Look, your legs, they're big enough to be chicken legs. You're wearing one of my shirts again. I had to change my shirt because dog slobber. <laughs> she managed to get it on both sleeves, how? And you're wearing my shirts because what? You want her to get it all over my clothes? No, I just grabbed it because it was the biggest shirt around and I like to sleep in a big shirt. I don't know why. I don't want to sleep in any shirt. Well, I want to sleep in a shirt, but I want it to be big. I want an oversized shirt for sleeping. Well, I think that's going to be the end of the vlog for today. But didn't you have a question for everybody? I do have a question. Okay. So we talked to somebody today, somebody super special. Mm -hmm. And we asked the question, what do you think is missing from the keto space? You mean like a product? Yeah, like what is a product, a food, something that you still miss that was from your pre-keto days that you would like to see keto-fied. Corned beef hash. There you go. In a can. <laughs> you really, really miss things that smell and taste like dog food. See, I grew up eating corned beef hash and once in a while, my dad would make corned beef hash like with potatoes and with, you know, fresh corned beef. But That would be better. Corned beef was expensive. I mean, to, to buy that brisket, it was expensive. Yeah. So you only really got it once or twice a year, usually around St. Patrick's Day. So we ate a lot of corned beef hash in a can. And yes, it looks a little bit like dog food. I think it was dog food. Yes, it smells a little bit like dog food. I think our dog eats better. 
but it was delicious. And I would love for somebody to come up with some type of corned beef hash that I could buy, like where it's all chopped up like that, maybe using radishes or something like yeah. that. But I'm not talking about making it home. I'm talking about I want a ready to go in a can corned beef hash. There you go. Maybe we can use spam. Ugh, what is that your go-to thing? <laughs> That's going to be our vlog for today. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah, that. <laughs> and hit the little bell icon just so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.